Hello, so this is vlog number three, I believe. So I am trying out to do time last. I kind of fail for this one because mostly because uh, the camera overheat and it turned off by itself, so it's hard to time last the whole thing. Uh, so I'm doing the horn for Leviathan for one of my plushy designs. Um, it is very difficult to do the horn, so basically I'm just yolo, um, yolo this and just write down the pattern. Uh, so as you can see, I keep going back and forth in my computer. It is for me to write down the pattern so I could do it again next time. So it's basically note taking. But uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. Just doing the horns for the uh, plushies. So I did end up with the horn looks correct, but it is kind of hard to. Uh, it does look a little bit funky because I think I missed some of the stitches because this is have lots of single crochets. Um, I basically single crochet all around, but the problem is the stitches is super hard to see, which is why you can see me putting it close to my eyes. I use the stitch marker, which is the paper clip, and it's still very hard to see because it's so small. But uh, but yeah, I think it turns out all right. I think I need to make his hard horn a little longer for this one. But overall, um, this is just the prototype so far. So yeah, so t this week I do I did uh, I'm doing the Leviathan prototype design right now. So I'm planning to do at least do one um, design for each week. But um, but right now I don't know because um. Because I am doing some orders right now, and I am kind of behind. I, not really. The deadline is next week, but it is. It takes a lot of time for sure. But yeah. So uh, I. This is probably um, the day I feel very under the weather. <laughs> I do another voiceover because uh, I kind of messed up on this video a little bit. But um, here is the three feet of the order I'm gonna do so I am crocheting plushies orders so these are for other people so I'm trying to do their feet first so I can uh, finish it more faster because um, basically uh, the body of the plushie takes the longest and maybe depending on the plushie the the uh, the uh, decoration is like the least compared but adventuring is a little different where the, the accessory took as long as the plushie itself. So here's Leviathan. So Leviathan, I think, is close on being done. But he just needs a second layer of hair. So here he is. Most of the stuff he has on his body is embroidered. Uh, he is hard because I barely see the stitches because he's black and gray, as you can see. But um, overall, uh, he is not as difficult as... The only thing that's difficult about him is probably I can't see what I'm crocheting because of the dark yarn. But um, yeah, but his hair turns out uh, alright. I don't like the texture of his hair that much because it's a Pacific yarn that makes it look kind of plasticky. But that's the only yarn I have for his hair color so I had to make do. Plus I have a lot of it too. But overall, I think he turns out alright. Uh, when I put on the second layer of hair, his horn kind of disappeared again. So, <laughs> I need to, um, I, I probably have to make the horn bigger in the next plushie I'm gonna do. I have to put a note of it. But yeah, but this is the prototype, so of course, uh, it's, a, it's not perfect. Usually, when I crochet to customer, I fix all the issues. Like Satan, I make his horn much more bigger in uh, the Satan plushie that I crocheted last week, I believe. But yeah. So this is a ho art hobby um, vlog. So I had to talk about what's one of my favorite hobbies, which is gaming. So this is Sympathy Kiss. A to it's an Atome game. And I, do I think it's two months old. And I really enjoy this game while I'm crocheting. So I put it in auto and I crochet. So I basically just like why reading while I'm crocheting. Uh, but it's a very fun game. I enjoy the story. If you love romance, this is definitely a romantic game. Jack unlike Jack John, one of the Tommy game where it's very character plot heavy. This game has more romance. So if you really into romance, this is a perfect game. Uh, so far I only played two round and I'm currently on the prince route. So I play Nori and Mitsuki, I believe. I like Nori route. I relate to him a lot. And Mitsuki, I do not like him. But his route is really nice for his character development. Uh, Roku route, Rokuro route, the prince charming, is the very, very uh, 
K drama route. So I liked the, the character, but it does give you a little angst in those that routes as well. But it is overall this Atome game is not really plot heavy. So if you enjoy romance story, you should definitely uh, play this game. So I'm planning to finish all my Atome backlog while I'm crocheting. So I feel like that will be nice to do like multitask and finish everything I want to finish. But um, yeah, I really enjoy it. And I'm planning to play Tengoku Struggle after this. Cause the problem, is, the reason why I don't, I can't play a Tome game as much is cause I draw and I can't watch, read the Tome game while I'm drawing cause I have to focus on the art. So if I crochet, I feel like I can autopilot more and to and focus on reading the Tome, playing the Tome game. So I realized this cliff, I don't put a venturi in the front and center. I made so many mistakes, now I learned from it, but right now I am finishing up a Venturine. He takes a long time because he has so many um, aesthetic. So yeah, you gotta realize that I accidentally knocked the camera around a bunch of time because I'm standing behind the camera with a tripod. So I accidentally hit the tripod so the camera moved very weird. But yeah, I think I finished the, uh, all the assets for uh, a Venturine. He is a little bit harder because he has the back and the back has detail and the front has a lot some detail in it. His, uh, all I need to do is his hair as well. So a Venturine is almost done at this moment but it uh, might take like a few hours though. But yeah. But uh, today is, is pretty uh, surprised because I do get some um, stuff in mail coming home. So I got this child plushie and he he is from a Twitter account, Long Something. I will put a link below if you want to buy plushie from them. The issue is that they take a very long time to give your order, but they do ship your order to you. So you could trust them. She ship it twice. She accidentally gave me two child. So it's, I don't know, but yeah. But, oh yeah, the, also the issue with her is also communication. So if you okay with all those, you can buy um, her plushies because her plushie she has Verity a plushie. I think she buy them in overseas and then she just ship it out to you. I say it is pricey mostly because of the shipping, but I think the doll itself isn't bad. It's like 30 to $20. But yeah. But I love these doll, but I, unfortunately I can't buy them anymore. I already have so much pre-order already because at that time I love dolls. But it, they just take so long to come here and I... Um, and I'm crocheting dolls, so that's a huge issue for me. But yeah. So next up is the order from Ami Ami. So this is um, Noah from. Uh, if you play, play, if you read manhwas, you know this. Why is related in the Duke Mansion? I will say it's a very nice, uh, cutesy man isekai manhwa. And I watched the anime. Uh, I like the manhwa better, but like I say, I'm biased. But. Um, Overall, I got him. Um, I need to unbox all my Nandroids because my, my Marius is still in his box. I'm just so lazy to unbox them because I had to like as assign them to um, basically know where to put them because I'm already running out of space. But um, yeah, I had to restrict my figure buying now, so I had to. <laughs> but these are I figure my figure that I ordered a long time ago. It just takes so much time to come home. But overall, um, yeah, I might review on Noah because he is very, I don't think people have him a lot, but yeah. So I've been like watching a lot of, uh, I, I read a lot of manhwas lately. I started to enjoy them more than mangas, mostly because of the color art. But um, yeah, so I order along with uh, Noah is Toji and Biakuya lookup figures. So I got them because they are my favorite characters. I realized I moved the products so fast and so soon uh, and a lot. So I gotta take a note for next vlog. So forgive me. So here are my trash that I unbox. <laughs> so these are the look up figure trash and my cat likes to play with it a lot. Uh, yeah, she's being feisty right now. So my uh, my pet loves these boxes, so I let them play a little on the bed. But I did unbox Toji and Biakia. 
He looks really cute though. I like Toji. Toji in the manga, my bro Toji is actually my brother's favorite character too, but yeah, he looks really cute. I think the quality is nice. The camera is very hard to focus, but yeah, the quality is really nice. I, uh, I always like the look up figure because they're very simple and cheap, but I think the quality is very nice. You barely see any paint uh, that is messed up, but overall, I uh, like him a lot. He's very cute. So, yeah, I watched the Zen, I read the Zen and Arc, so I'm excited for that to be animated. It is a little bit rushed, but yeah. But, uh, Toji is, very, uh, is one of my faves. So next is Byakuya. So Byakuya is my long-term fave, I guess. He was, I, Bleach was my childhood, and Byakuya is always my, uh, favorite. Compared, uh, it was just ironic because there's a lot of cool characters. I like Grim Jail, Toshiro, and the others. But I don't know. Maybe because he, he's the first character I saw as a pretty boy. Maybe that's why. But overall, yeah. So I remember, this is my Lucifer. So he is done. So he looks alright. Uh, so I put the white string around him. Because I don't have chains. <laughs> so unfortunately, chains will be costly because it will be in the jewelry sections. But... Uh, yeah, but he is supposed to be sellable, and I don't want him to be too pricey, so I think having string that is white, that close, similar to chains, I feel like people who know this character already probably know what those strings around him is supposed to be anyways, but overall, I think he turns out alright. I wish his hair is a little better, but like I say, I don't have that quality hair, uh, a different quality hair. So, um, overall, he turns out pretty good. I kind of like him a lot. So, I realized there's a lot of issue with my recording now. That I move the products a lot and I don't put them in the center a lot. Which is a huge issue. So, I had to really need to check on my recording while I'm doing it. But, yeah. if so, Sometimes my, my recording focus on the wrong thing as well. So... That's an issue. I will have. I will fix it uh, at the next vlogs. All vlog vlog one to three has a whole bunch of flaws, but yeah. So seeing all my flaws on my recording, now I'm gonna do some screen recording. So I'm gonna screen record. Uh, I'm gonna try to put more screen recording in my vlogs because it's more cleaner and I do digital art a lot. So yeah. So right now I'm just trying to c uh, correct some of this um, portrait. So this portrait is. Uh, Crobin ship from Fire Emblem, and they are my favorite ship. Um, I'm just this is basically a portrait that's supposed to be done pretty fast, like within a day. But I was busy crocheting so many order uh, all the orders that I didn't. It takes much longer than it's supposed to be. But yeah, I like how it turns out so far. But um, I feel like I didn't improve on my portraits a lot. But hopefully I continue improving both of my crafts, which is crocheting and drawing. So I am planning to do some enamel pins uh, tutorials on how I uh, do them. Basically, did I do those video? I forgot. I think I only do enamel pin reveal, not really a tutorial. But I'm gonna plan to do a tutorial on how I purchase in not how I purchase, but how I set up the file for my enamel pins. Uh, it's pretty simple and easy, I believe. It's not that complicated. Uh, it's just all based on your design, and the setup is mostly how to. You probably gonna need to use Illustrator. I feel like Illustrator is just more easier. Uh, I have they have this color book palette thing where you can use for your enamel pins. So I'm planning to do those video first since I now I know screen recording. Unfortunately, this, uh, the screen recording I, I'm doing cannot do audio recording, which is unfortunate. So I feel like it's more easier if it's auto uh, audio recording, but oh well. But I like how they turn out. It is supposed to be more faster, but unfortunately I, I took my sweet time on it because I was busy crocheting. There are other days I don't even like draw at all because I'm so tired and my aunt, aunt, my hands are sore. So, I mean, that's how it is when you're trying to uh, learn a new craft, you know? But overall, I really like how he, they turn out. Um, I feel like my portrait improved a lot. I need to do more. I was planning to do a portrait, portrait every week. Not every week, every day. But like I said, it takes time. Crocheting takes time as well. So, unfortunately, that plan went derailed. But, uh, yeah. 
Well, I probably uh, need to uh, need to learn how to manage my time a bit, you know. But um, I gotta do. Uh, I gotta show you how I do my plush piece. So if you want to see the full photo? Check out my Instagram or my Twitter. But um, here's the plushies. So this is how I planned them out. It's really um, simple. <laughs> I just basically look uh, make simple shapes, and I kind of figure out what to crochet and mentally but I feel like these small photos help me out to know what I need to crochet for. So here is the base. The eye is supposed to be lower I believe but I th it's just a draft so I don't care uh, or bother fixing it. But uh, here is just the base and basically I copy and paste it and I keep the base and I just draw on top of the, the copy base. So I am doing row curl next. Not next. I have a lot of drag plushy that I haven't done. But he is from Sympathy Kids and I want to make a plushie out of him because I like this character a lot. So here I planning to do a more beigey color cause and his, uh, his pants is probably gonna be simplified. I can't do those lines for his pants. So everything had to be simplified for these, so I'm gonna sketch it out. So designing them is pretty simple. You just need to know the colors for the yarn. Uh, since I am an amateur, I try to make it as simple as possible. So his body shape, I mean color, it's probably going to be similar to Lucifer. Uh, he has a black belt in the middle, so Lucifer also has the similar style. Um, I just need to switch the colors, which is white and gray and dark pink, which is for his shoes. But yeah, I try to make it as simple as possible so I can make it easier for, for myself. So his necklace is going to be probably only a red string. Very simple. And I'm probably going to glue a flower crochet um, pattern. Uh, I might have to try to learn how to make a small one. I did buy, buy a small yarn uh, crochet needle, so hopefully that will help. And then I draw his coat. So his coat, what I'm thinking is going to be similar to, uh, to Jin Yuan, I think. I have to think about that. Um, but I'm going to probably crochet those triangle um, sleeves. Not sleeves. Uh, I don't know what those are. <laughs> Triangles that thing that you saw uh, on it so I just gotta sew on it or glue on it and I gotta probably do that um, that long um, that long thing that ties the coat <laughs> I am not good with words but that thing that you saw I'm trying but yeah I'm planning to sew it on to make it more detailed but I decided to simplify it because it's gonna be too complicated so I gotta just sew the color. I mean, I just gotta crochet the color similar to the rest of the other plushie. So that's the plan. Um, pretty simple. I leave the, all the white areas because it's gonna be just skin colors. But overall, I think I like how it turns out so far. Pretty simple. The good thing about modern day Hatoma game is they they have very simple clothes that we can we also wear. But yeah. So next up is his hair. His hair is going to be similar to a veteran color hair. He is a blondie. So yeah. Overall, I like how uh, that's how I do my crochet plushie. I always have to sketch the design first to know what I should be crocheting. Because otherwise, it's gonna, I have to YOLO the whole thing. But yeah, that's overall pretty much it for what I usually do. It's not gonna turn exactly like that. As you see, my couple of my crochets turn out completely different. But that's just the rough draft at how it's supposed to be looking I like. So for this vlog, I'm planning not to do um, record every day. I feel like the video will be so long if I record every day. I just record every update what I'm doing for around the week, like the games I play and maybe the products I bought, and what I'm crocheting and what I'm I am designing. So it's like a it's like a records of my art day basically. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully, I fix all the issues I have for this vlog, which is know how to focus on the objects but that's pretty much it and thank you for watching